Hello, wonderful family. Another glorious day and another beautiful opportunity to share the word with you. Hallelujah. Today, I just want to read out um, a, 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 a scripture that dropped into my heart this morning. Excuse me. I'm a bit tired here. And it's taken from the book of Psalms, chapter 27 from verses 11 to 14 but particularly 13 and 14 and let me read i don't know who this verse is for but it ministered to me this morning teach me thy way o jehovah or the way the king james says it teach me thy way o lord anyway i would uh, juxtapose anywhere that was supposed to contain the the, the real the proper name of god um, the way i pronounce it instead of lord I will say his proper name as it was originally intended. Teach me thy way, O Jehovah, and lead me in a plain path because of mine enemies. So in essence, he's saying that because of the enemies that are available are around, you, you got to lead me. Make those paths plain for me. That's that I don't have to look for those paths. Just lead me, direct me. And of course, you remember scripture says that uh, the, 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 the sons of God are led by the Spirit of God. So they that are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. Verse 12, deliver me not over unto the will of mine enemies. This, oh, this psalm actually uh, is speaking before the coming of Christ. But remember that the Bible says that uh, he had delivered us from the power of darkness and translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. So this uh, this is kind of moot. But the main place I want to come to, let, let's continue. He says, For false witnesses are risen up against me and such as breed out cruelty. But we can take comfort in the fact that we are delivered already. So what he, what he was saying was, do this for me, but that was from the time past. But now we are living in the reality of it. He has already done it for us. Now verse 13, I had fainted unless I had believed. So in essence, he's saying that if I did not stand my ground and believe what God said, I would have fainted. I would have passed out. I would have, I would have been useless because of these enemies. But because I stood my ground believing what God said, I didn't faint. Verse 14, beautiful scripture. Wait on Jehovah, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on Jehovah. I was asking him uh, earlier on uh, yesterday, say, Daddy, there was something you told me or that. Am I, am I actually hearing myself, I'm hearing from you, when you said, wait. You've told me wait on three separate occasions in my life. And the previous, prior two occasions, the same way I heard it, is how I heard it now. And it sounded foolish. What am I waiting for? There was an action I was to carry, but you said wait. And at the end of the day, those two prior occasions, after I waited, there was a blessing at the end of it. That is, it became so apparent why you said I should wait. So I, And all that while, when I had heard you say, wait... When I had heard you say wait, it never occurred to me to find out from Scripture to corroborate what I was hearing on the inside with Scripture. But a couple of days ago, it hit me. And then, uh, yeah, was that yesterday I was meditating? And thinking about this thing again. And I went, I checked the Scripture. It, it, it was this Scripture. He says, wait on Jehovah, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on Jehovah. So I meditated on, upon it a little while yesterday, and then I, I went into listening to some, um, to a respected man of God, a man of God I respect. And mean, midway into his sermon, he just broke out. And came back to this particular scripture and said it again as if he was pointing at me. He says, wait on the, on, on the Lord. 
Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. And I said, ah, in the mouth of two or three witnesses shall every word be established. Am I speaking to you? Is God speaking to you with the scripture? He sure did speak to me. If he's speaking to you, take courage. He shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on Jehovah. God bless you.